Court records describe the gun violence that led to a destructive gas explosion at a Dallas apartment complex. The arrest affidavit says Philip Dankins argued with the mother of his baby, then later returned and shot up the argument, the apartment, excuse me, where a neighbor had been protecting the mother and child. A bullet severed a gas line during those shots fired, which started a leak and ultimately the explosion later that morning that injured eight people, four of them firefighters who were inside or near that apartment. Fox Force Lynn Ann Wynn is live in Dallas tonight with more on the arrest records. Lynn Ann. Steve Dinkins was arrested earlier this month on October 2nd, just three days after the explosion. According to court records, he fired several rounds into an apartment, hitting a hose behind an oven, uh, causing gas to leak into the apartment all night. Look, like I always say, what, it, what goes what goes in the long, in the dark, it comes to light. After weeks without a home and waiting for answers, Rashonda Tilly is finally moving back into her apartment with her family. But her home and her car are in shambles after vandals broke in. Police say her loss and the displacement of hundreds of other tenants was caused by Philip Dinkins. I can't say why. I never know what was going through his head at the time or what, what could have happened. But I'm, I'm, I'm gracious we're still alive. Neighbors say they knew Dinkins, but he didn't live there. They tell us his girlfriend stayed there with a relative. According to an arrest warrant affidavit, the night before the explosion, Dinkins got into an argument with the girlfriend, who is the mother of his child. A neighbor brought the woman and the child into his apartment for safety. Dinkins went after her, but the neighbor pointed a gun at him and Dinkins left. After telling the woman and the child to go, the neighbor followed, leaving the apartment empty. Police say Dinkins later returned to the location and shot several rounds into the front door and side windows of the apartment. One of the bullets went through the hose behind the oven, causing a leak. The leak continued unnoticed in the empty apartment for several hours until later that morning at about 10 a.m. when neighbors smelled gas and called 911. Four firefighters from DFR Station 25 were checking the building. One of them, Pauline Perez, was inside the unit, immediately noticed the smell, and as she went to leave, gas from the oven ignited. Perez was thrown 30 feet and suffered third-degree burns to her arms and hands, along with second-degree burns to her thighs. Fellow firefighter Ronald Hall was at the entrance of the apartment and suffered second-degree burns and broke his right leg. Firefighter Chris Godomsky was in the breezeway and blown backwards into a neighboring apartment, suffering broken bones in both legs and several burns all over his body. The fourth firefighter, Andrew Curtis, was outside and injured his right foot. Three apartment employees were also injured. A female employee was hit by broken glass. One man had singed hair, and the third has second-degree burns to both his arms. Later, it was arson investigators who discovered the bullet damage to the gas line and notified DPD. Three days after the explosion on October 2nd, officers tracked down Dinkins in Mesquite and arrested him on family violence charges. Police say he still had the gun used in the shooting, which was linked to a shell casing a tenant found outside the apartment a short time before the explosion. Three weeks later, Roshana Tilly and her neighbors are still looking at a long recovery ahead. She did cause a lot to everybody over here, not just me, but it displaced all of us. And Dinkins is being held on $450,000 bond on several charges, including deadly conduct, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, possession of a controlled substance, as well as unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. Steve. All right, Lynn and Wynn live. Thanks.